The club's about keeping people safe on the beach. Uh, it's also about being able to keep fit and active and also um, just to have some fun down here. So from a social point of view, being able to enjoy yourself. Ford Rescue requires one surf lifesaver on a Malibu and it requires that lifesaver to probably travel about 100 metres maximum offshore. And then trying to get the patient back on the board so that we can get the patient back to shore and start performing proper CPR as quick as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> An IOB rescue requires two lifesavers to get out in our inflatable rescue boat and pick up people who are out to sea, possibly two to three hundred metres offshore, and get them back to the beach as quickly as possible. Anyone can be a lifesaver. Um, they start at the age of seven in nippers, and when you turn about 13, you do your qualifications to become a proper lifesaver and do patrols. Nippers have a number of programs called um, Surf Awareness and Surf Safety. There are different courses aimed at younger children and basically you go through them and then by the time you're 12 you are ready to do your surf rescue certificate. We usually just do some theory in the club first and then we'll come down and stretch and warm up and then we do some water stuff. My favourite part is boards where you paddle around in the water that you get to go on the water. Ten years old they start to learn how to do resuscitation so they could be out in the bush and they could save somebody's life you know. They, these kids can do it and they've actually told me they've done it too. Along the way they're learning how to uh, be safe in the water and how to be able to save other people and they're also getting some general fitness as well. You can choose to do whatever you want and follow whatever path and really you can go wherever you want. A lot of competition that happens in surf lifesaving. Competition for all ages, for juniors, for seniors and for masters, right up to the age of 80 or so. People can compete in swimming, board paddling, ski paddling and offbeat stuff such as a first aid competition, a resuscitation competition and there's a patrol efficiency competition. The competition side of it is not all uh, hard work and sweat and, and whatever, there's a lot of social life behind that. And that's where in competition you go, to other, you go to carnivals and you start to socialise with other members of Surf Life Saving. Socialising is, the, is a very important part of the whole deal. I was actually involved in a rescue of a kid who was about five years old. Down at, this was down when we were at Taparoo. Um, he walked out, followed his uh, brother into an inshore hole and he wasn't big enough and he, he, he basically drowned and we pulled him out and uh, got an ambulance and took him off. He, he lived, we knew that. We never, we never saw him again and I was instructing a squad one day, I was asked to instruct a squad and one of the kids said to me, you don't know me, do you? And I said, no, I, I don't really. And he said, well, you saved me once. He actually found out who was on that patrol and he told me that. And I can't say that I'm a loss for words most of the time, but I was that day. That was just, it was just fantastic. My favourite memories as a surf lifesaver would probably be the competition side. Um, as a swimmer and as a competitive swimmer, I've always been striving to, to win medals on behalf of the club. My best memory of being a surf lifesaver is all the mates that I've picked up along the way. I've got friends that I've had since I was 10 years old. Uh, they're still mates today and we still do lifesaving together. The club is on the up and up. With our $1.2 million extension, we now have doubled our membership and we're looking to increase it even further, both from an active point of view and from a social side of things. We're aiming to have 300 plus members at the club and a sponsor at the club is gonna have huge exposure to the local community. Membership's easy. You can come along on a Friday night, complete a form, and membership's as low as $25 uh, for a social member or $65 for a patrolling member. Volunteering is, in, is rewarding in itself, just being able to put back into the community. It's important because we need people to keep our beaches safe. If you like to be fit and uh, get out in the sun in summer, come down, it's a great place. Good people, good atmosphere, 
and uh, you really enjoy it. Yeah, I can bring you evidence from my guess I